how to remove, replace, and reinstall the injector on a Smart Choice Gen 2 system. I'm going to rotate the valve sideways so you can see the injector housing. It's right here underneath this cap. We're going to use the Smart Choice multi tool to remove this cap, or you can use a pair of channel locks. Just be careful not to mar up the cap. We're going to put the end of the multi tool on, loosen the cap up. This unscrews, it's on there with an O-ring. Your injector screen is right in the cap, so this gives you an opportunity to remove the screen and clean it or re replace it if necessary. It just fits right back into the cap assembly, just like so. I'm going to pull it out for just a moment, set it down. And your injector assembly on all the Smart Choice Gen 2 system are in the down flow position. To remove that, you can get a hold of it with a pair of needle nose pliers to pull it up out of there, or quick service tip is you can take the injector cap, hook it underneath the edge of the injector, and you can pull it out. It's held in with a double O-ring seat. We're going to reinstall a new one, and just put it back in the downfall position, push it into place, reinstall your injector screen into the cap, screw the cap back on, hand tight. It's an O-ring seal. And you're finished.